Uh, my name is John Hawkins with Miller Industries and today we're going to talk about the proper lubrication of a recovery boom and in this case our rotator product line. No matter whose recovery boom, what we're going to talk about today really does matter. A lot of the opportunities that towing companies have across the United States might not allow for this tow truck to be parked inside. Parking one inside or under a roof keeps the sun rays away from the top of the recovery boom. During the summertime, the sun is beating down on the top of these recovery booms. Properly running this recovery boom in and out at least once a week and the lubrication is a very critical part because the heat that's coming from that sun will actually dry the grease out for your top wear pads. So that's what we're going to talk today. How to properly lubricate the wear pads so that you know at least once a month you're up here taking these four grease points and properly lubricating them. So, a lubricant. As long as it's an EP, extreme pressure lubricant, we don't really care what make it is, but EP is very critical because these wear pads do see extreme pressure. We're gonna pan in a little bit onto this recovery boom and you can actually see that after three years, the discoloration of the red compared to the side. And that shows you the very heat that gets onto the top of these recovery booms. That very heat dries up the lubrication if you don't operate this recovery boom at, less, at least once a week and if you don't grease it at least once a month. So we have four points. We have one, two, these two points will grease the wear pads on the second stage. Three, four, these two grease points will lubricate the wear pads on the third stage. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to know that this grease gun's working well and we're going to give it one, two, three. We're going to give it one, two, three. We're going to come over here, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Now that we're giving it these four uh, different locations, three good grease uh, pumps, we'll take the truck with it running, extend this boom out two feet, retract it, and then do the process over again. And we'll go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And once we've done all four points, We'll take this recovery boom and we'll run it out four feet, two feet more, bring it all the way back and repeat that process until we've taken that and run the boom to full extension. What are we doing? We're taking that grease and we're lubricating the full roof, similar to what you saw during the build process of this recovery boom for not only the roof of the first stage, but the roof of the second stage. This will help this recovery boom when lifting 30, 40, 50,000 pounds to extend that, li that lift under load. Very critical. Thanks again for watching. This is John Hawkins. Make sure that you subscribe to our news feed for all the tricks of the trade. This video is for product demonstration purposes only and is not intended for training or instructional purposes. Situations vary and operators should rely on their own professional knowledge and safety procedures when conducting actual recoveries.